Compound clips are easily one of the handiest little features in Final Cut Pro, and in this video I'm going to explain everything you need to know about creating and working with compound clips. And I'm going to give you 8 practical ways to use compound clips in your next edit. I'll also drop in some other handy tips and shortcuts along the way, so be sure to stick around. A big thank you to Zyro for sponsoring this video, but more about Zyro in just a bit. Let's kick things off by showing you how to create compound clips. It's super easy. Select your clip, clips, or clips, titles, and music, whatever it may be that you want to group together, and hit Alt-G. Give it a name and hit OK. Now we have one clip that contains everything we just selected. If you need to edit that compound clip, simply double click to open it up and you can make any edits that you need to make and then you can jump back to your timeline by hitting the back arrow over here or you can use the shortcut command and the left square bracket. If for whatever reason you need to break apart your compound clip, you can simply select the compound clip and hit command shift G and anything in the compound clip will now be separated again. Now that you know how to create, edit, and break apart compound clips, let's talk about eight different ways that you can use them in your edits that will save you time and make your life easier, which is something that we all want as editors, right? Number one, condense multiple layers. I've created this little wall of video thumbnails, which I'd like to add as an overlay on my footage. Every time I want to move it around, I need to select these layers and maybe even scroll up in order to select them all. Instead, if I create a compound clip, I now only have one layer that I need to move around. Number two, replace elements. If you're doing a video for a client and you're using a graphic or a logo that might change during the course of the edit and you've used it multiple times, then using compound clips might really help you save some time. For example, like this animated intro, which I created using AdMotion, I'll link to a video about AdMotion down below, the outro at the end, and a logo watermark during the video. Before creating any of those elements, first create a compound clip from the logo. Use that compound clip to create the intro, the watermark, and the outro. Then if the client comes along and says, hey, we need to change the logo, that's the old one. Then you can simply open up the compound clip, replace the old logo with the new one, and head back to your timeline. And every instance of the logo will be replaced. Number three, apply effects or transitions to multiple layers. If you've been watching tutorials on this channel for a while, you probably would have seen this before and after wipe transition on some of the videos. If we go frame by frame, you can see how this wipe transition affects both the text layers, where we have the before and after text, but also the ungraded and the graded footage. I was able to use the wipe transition over the footage and the text at the same time by using compound clips. Let's say I have my graded footage here with text, I can duplicate that by selecting both layers and holding down Alt while I click and drag to create a copy. I'll select the footage and I'll hit Command Shift X to remove the Color Finale plugin and then I'll change the text on this title layer to ungraded. I'll select the ungraded clip and create a compound clip which I'll name before and I'll create another one called after. Then I'll trim both clips to the middle and head over to my transitions window, search for a wipe and add that between the clips. I can change the edge type to a solid color, set the border to five and the color to white. And then I have a before and after transition like this using compound clips. Number four, save time with interview footage. Let's say you have a long talking head clip or an interview that you're going to be cutting up. Before you cut out any of the footage that you won't use, make a compound clip out of it. Then cut that compound clip up like you normally would. Then instead of grading one clip or adding audio effects to it and then having to copy and paste those attributes, all you need to do is open up the compound clip, grade and add audio effects once, and when you head back to your timeline, each of these cuts has those effects applied to it. This is especially handy when it comes to making changes. Instead of having to remove those attributes on all of these cuts, make a change and recopy and paste the attributes, you can make the change once, and again, it's applied to all the clips. We've covered four ways to make your life easier with compound clips so far. And making life easier is exactly what the sponsor of this video, Zyro, does for you when it comes to creating a website. As creatives and video editors, we all need a website, whether it's to attract clients, to show off your work, or even to host a blog or an online store. Zyro can help you with all of that, and it's probably one of the best deals for creating and managing a website that you'll find on the internet. You can create a website using one of their beautiful templates, or you can use their AI website generator to help you create a website in record time. I created this website for Final Cut Pro tutorials in just a couple of hours, and it was really easy to do. Zyro is fast, 
easy to use and offers 24 seven support. Zyro is offering you guys a limited time deal where you can get anywhere from 45 to 71% off, including a custom domain and three months for free with a yearly plan. So if you need a website, make sure you use the link below and use the code Brad and Donna to claim your discount. Number five, organize your timeline. If you work on long edits, you can use compound clips to organize your timeline and make things easier to find. For example, this is a 45 minute edit made up of various interview questions and each segment has screen recordings, B-roll and images that go along with it. Now, if we create compound clips for each question, not only is it easier to see where each question is, but if the client asks me to swap the question about profit margins with the advertising question, I don't have to try and grab all the individual cuts and layers for that section. I can just click on one clip, the compound clip, and move it to where it needs to be. Number six, speed ramping graphics. I've got this little animated arrow that I want to use, but it animates on and off the screen too slowly for my liking. If I select the graphic and open up the retiming options, you can see that the option to create a blade speed cut is grayed out. But if I create a compound clip first and then hit shift B to create a blade speed cut, I can speed up the in animation to 200% and now it animates in faster. I can do the same at the end and if I wanted to stay on screen for a bit longer, I can hover over the middle of the compound clip and hit shift H to create a hold frame. Now it animates in quickly, holds that static position for as long as I've set the hold frame for, and then it animates out faster as well. Number seven, group elements for reuse. Let's say you have some graphics templates and sound effects that you might reuse in your edit, like these like and subscribe graphics and the sound effects that go with them. Instead of trying to select all of these elements and trying to copy them somewhere else in the edit while maintaining the relative timing, you can simply make a compound clip and all of those elements, including the sound effects, are grouped together, which you can then copy over and over. Remember, if you make changes to one of the instances of a compound clip, it changes on all of them. If you want to change only one of the instances, for example, in this first copy, we only want the like button animation and not the subscribe animation, then you can select the first instance of the compound clip, head over to the clip menu and select reference new parent clip. This will create a duplicate of that compound clip in your browser and replace the selected compound clip with that new duplicate. So I can double click on it, remove the subscribe animation and the sound effects. And when I go back to my timeline, the first compound clip is the only one that's changed. Number eight, adding an effect to multiple layers. If you saw my video on how to create a day to night transition, then you might have seen how I created a compound clip of just stars, which if you open it up is made up of a shot of a hiker and a full screenshot of the stars. Since I don't want the stars to show up anywhere else but the sky, I added two draw mask effects to the compound clip so that they would only appear in the sky. These draw mask effects affect all of the layers in the compound clip. Compound clips are super useful and there are so many ways to incorporate them into your workflow to help you edit faster. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy my video on the power of using rolls in Final Cut Pro, so definitely check that out next. <laughs>